Well, it's Thursday. That means we have a vet here to answer your pet questions. So if you have a problem with your pet, you can give us a call. It's 918-460-KJRH. As always, it's Dr. Joe Landers here to answer your questions. And he's brought along Molly this morning. Good morning. Molly. Well, good morning. This is, uh, she's, she is in the prime of her, her, her teenagerhood here. She's about <laughs> six months old and she is just wanting to play, play, play. She's got a little uh, energy. She does have a little energy. She's a little chihuahua cross dog. Very mm -hmm. nice little dog. She just wants to play and lick you and stuff. Uh, I told everybody. <laughs> Today we we dressed her up. Um, Say so you managed to get a sweater yeah. on. Her. We managed to get that a sweater. That's probably it's, a big project. It's not always staying on, uh, <laughs> and and uh, but it, it looks good for now anyway. She's she's having fun. But she's over at Arrow Springs, uh, which is four five five um, five. Uh, 7108 I'm sorry and uh, and she's she's ready for adoption ready to go she's she was kind of lost they found mm. her at a convenience store she's a little underweight she's all she's she's <laughs> she is she's a handful good, good weight and ready to go <laughs> so you can call Arrow Springs or you can call Animal Aid at 918-744-8280 or log on to animalaid.org let's go to the phones first up today we got Melody in Claremore good morning good morning Hi. what's your question um, Dr. Joe, yes. I have a two and a half year old lab mix mm -hmm. and yes. he hasn't been eating good lately or mm -hmm. drinking very well. Yep. And I don't know if it's because he's not getting enough exercise because he really doesn't have any other symptoms. Yep. He's two and a half. How long has he not been eating for very uh, well? going on about three weeks now that we've yeah. really been fighting with him to get him to eat. Yeah, a lot of times I'll tell people, you know, if he's really a big change in appetite like that, you might want to have him checked out. Sometimes, uh, you know, you're, you're right, if he's not losing any weight and he's kind of up to weight, they may be changing their eating habits. A lot of times that happens more around two years of age or so, because like this little dog right now, she'll eat everything, and, and but after a while, when she's about, oh, a year and a half old or so, she'll finally kind of level out a little bit. Um, you know, the other deal I'll tell people is if, you know, watch your stool if they're having kind of diarrhea or intermittent diarrhea and watch for any other kind of signs sneezing coughing uh, runny eyes but if that seems to be you know you probably probably get him checked out because that's a long time you know I'll go three to five days but after that after a week or so of not eating very well that kind of gets me a little bit more concerned so okay let's head out to Park Hill now and talk to Sue good morning Sue good morning. hi a 10 month old small piece yes. and he smells like baby burp around uh -huh. his mouth his beard mm -hmm. and there's no sign of throwing up and we haven't changed his diet he uh, he has eaten science diet since we've had him at mm -hmm. 10 weeks um so I yeah, a lot, of, a lot of times, I mean, they can regurgitate a little bit. Um, the other deal, sometimes I'll, I'll tell people if they are getting, if their beard's real long and they're actually getting stuff in it and it's kind of getting kind of dirty, so you can kind of wipe around that, but if that's not kind of working. Um, and then the other deal, uh, kind of like the last caller, I mean, see what the feces are doing and how, and how the dog's kind of acting in general. Um, I mean, some of them can have some little burping up stuff. I mean, dogs actually throw up pretty easily, and they tend to eat sometimes things they shouldn't. Um, we were just talking about this leaves and stuff that they, you know, uh, drag in the house or something and just to have fun. But kind of kind of watch that and see. Um, but, yeah, that, that is kind of, kind of interesting. You can definitely kind of clean around it. A lot of these little dogs get stuff caught in there, and it does kind of smell a little bit. So, so got to make sure that beard's yep. clean. Yep. and look in the mouth. Open up, look at the teeth and stuff. Every once in a while, they'll get something caught in there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've we've pulled out little pieces of wood. They get caught in their molars and stuff and things like that. So, but just kind of kind of take a good look in there. So, all right, good advice. Thank you, Joe. Thank, Thank you, Molly. You. We appreciate it. Again, if you'd like to adopt Molly, you can go to animalaid.org. Dr. Landers is here every Thursday.